Today, I'm going to be showing you the best sword for every fruit in PvP, so let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, join the Discord link in the description below, and let's get into yes, it. Sir. All right, the best sword for every fruit. If you don't know what that means, when you pick a fruit, let's say you have the rocket fruit, you probably wanna have a sword equipped because if not, you're just gonna get clapped in PVP. So today I'm going to be showing you the best sword to have with whatever fruit you're using. Let's get into it. And I already have the rocket fruit out. To be honest, bro, if you're using the rocket fruit, I don't know what you're doing. There, there's something wrong with you in the head, bro. But I'm going to say dragon trident because even with the trash moves of rocket, right? You know, that, that barely do anything. At least with dragon trident, you can break their kin and drag them back so you can go into a move all right now the next fruit we're doing is spin again spin what what are you doing like what is wrong with you to the point that you're using spin bro for this i'm gonna say dragon trident or gravity cane because you need something that brings them close enough a lot of the spin moves you know they're in place or they're kind of not like going nope. anywhere you know kind of short range with the gravity cane you can easily drag them back to go straight into your moves uh chop chop to be honest if your sword main all right if your fruit main something is actually wrong like please get help why are you using this if your sword main any sword with this bro because you know if you're chop sword main they can't hit you so it really doesn't matter what sword you use just use a sword that you're pretty good with and you should be fine all right now i don't have perm spring so let me eat spring really quick three hours later Tell. Yeah, spring again, not such a great fruit. But you know, spring again, a super, super short range type of uh, type of fruit. And with this, you could either use gravity cane, keep gravity cane, or go spiky trident. You know, again, something that pulls you back so you can easily use moves. Next is bomb. And with bomb, you might not expect this, but I'm going to go pull a V2. Hey, yo, what the? So let's say you already have your landmines, right? Let's say you set up your landmines. All you have to do, get them to come over here, right? Use your electric prison why are you doing that self-destruct while they're stunned and then use moves after this is a very very effective method for you know non-iq individuals next we have smoke fruits and with smoke fruit twin hooks because smoke fruit is actually usable like these moves are not horrendous nope. they're not horrendous but yeah usually what people do is they'll use the smoke liberation use that move go into combat and then they can easily easily go into a combo okay so for spike fruit you know it's really just the off-brand like dough type of we're gonna go back to the dragon trident flame spiky trident flame is the first good fruit on this list i don't care chop is trash bro if you use it fruit main it sucks no one gets away with this all right I could just pull them back, right? And then go into a combo. Falcon, Falcon, Spiky. Uh, we're skipping this fruit. No sword. How? Actually, no sword for this. You're just gonna run anyways. There's no point of using a sword with ice fruit if all you're just gonna do is use the B move, miss, and run. Sand. All right, guys. So sand. I don't even have sand awaken. I have like two moves awaken on sand. Based off of what I've seen, I've used sand on other accounts, but you know, I think it'll be more more reasonable to go off of what I've seen. I'm gonna go CDK because cdk x move you can use after the sand x move you know it teleports you basically straight to the enemy easily easily into the rest of your moves from there nice next up we have dark which i don't have right now why don't i have a dark fruit but anyways you guys know what dark does like the c move it, it's like endless wave oh. whatever just use whatever sword you want with that because that's actually a good fruit for sword main use what you're comfortable with which is the best sword to me whatever you're comfortable with all right now next we have diamond again diamond use sword mains a lot i'd say shark anchor probably is the best sword right now for diamond of course not best sword overall shark anchor is spammable and what do you get when you have spam and damage reduction you get buddha this is a mini walmart brand off brand dollar tree dollar general version of the buddha fruit all right next we have light with the spiky trident because as you may or may not know spiky trident it's used for the most common light combos bro the most common light combos use spiky trident and it's really easy to use with it and that's all i have to say rubber i'd say spiky trident again but you know you can easily go right here and use the rush move and once you're done with that you can pull them back and use whatever moves you want you know maybe cannon maybe god human moves who knows barrier why are you using this? Why are you doing this to yourself? 
Again, you probably want something with some pull. You have the barrier prison, right? You can drag them. Dimensional Blitz, right? But yeah, Gravity Cane just does a really good job at pulling them back. Next, we have Ghost. And for Ghost, I'm going to go with the Pull V2. Because look, Pull V2, right? It stuns them. The only move that really does knockback is Shivering Possession. Or it moves you. It doesn't even really do knockback. But all these other moves, Spectral Release, does stun, you know? Prize of the Underworld, you can go right here and pull them back go straight into a combo just off of that next we have magma and i'm staying with the pull v2 because magma is slow you need a stun so if you use god human right and you use this and you use this boom you can easily easily spam them bro easily spam them next we have quake going back to the spiky trident because with quake you know this z move does a lot of knockback you can just pull them back how did i miss that but yeah, you can pull them back and go into whatever. All right, now Buddha, the sword doesn't matter, nope. bro. All you're doing is spamming. So you're M1-ing. What difference does the sword make? All right, next up, we have the love fruit, which is actually a very underrated fruit. It's just not really used because, you know, a lot of people just use F to run with it. And spiky trident is the best sword for this fruit but yeah hard shot is the only move on this uh on this fruit that does any real knockback so you can go irresistible attraction right and then you can go heart shot pull them back go into your god human moves besto friendo and they're basically Ooh. dead next to spider spider fruit and with spider fruit you really need some like mobility so i'm gonna go curse dual katanas and then you go right here you're gonna need to get to the enemy and cdk does it does just that sound it really doesn't matter I hate sound, bro. I only really like how it looks. And short to mid distance. You know what else is short to mid distance? The dragon trident. You can go dragon trident, pull, C move, V move, spam, whatever you need to do. Portal, I'm not even going to go into it. Any sword you want is great for portal. Same thing with the rumble fruit, pain fruit, fruit main, pain fruit. I'd go spiky trident, but sword main, pain fruit. I would go shisui because you know shisui, quickest, fastest sword in the game. Blizzard, spiky trident. And combos, it's very effective because if you go right here, use the soaring beast, you hit the knockback, right? You pull them back and then you go into a combo. Gravity. Mammoth doesn't really matter. You're going to be in transformation, but without it, handy dandy, spiky trident slash gravity cane. T-Rex, good fruit to use for combos with spiky. Doe, CDK, pretty obvious. Shadow fruit, now the most comboable with shadow fruit would be, um, would be, what's it called, Yama? But I'm going to go pull V2 for the best with shadow fruit. Torment them with the Corvus, right? They can't really get out if you use pole moves to stun them. You know, usually they can like flash step or something if they're on the outsides, but they can't do that. And you won't have any problems just using your moves and killing them. Next up for Venom, I'm just gonna go Spiky Trident because that's what I've been using whenever I use Venom. Next up we have Control, Control. I'm gonna go uh, Spiky Trident easily pulls them back. If you use Echo Knife, right? You can, uh, you can pull them back with Spiky and go into a combo. Spirit again, Spiky Trident. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, join the Discord link in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.